Well, let's go out to Heiko. Patriots coming off their win last week against Independence, while the Red Devils looking for their first win of the year. Midland Trail gets the ball first. Chris Vines handing off to Colton Yoder. Going to his left, he's able to find enough space to pick up a first down. However, this drive would end in a punt. On the Red Devils opening drive, miscommunication on this play leads to a fumble. It's recovered by Yoder, and the Patriots have great field position looking to score first, but then on fourth down inside the red zone, Vines looking right for a receiver. Khalil Gray with the sack for the turn turnover on downs. The opening minutes of this game will belong to the defenses. Later in the first quarter, Yoder taking the handoff, going to his left. He's able to find a hole and has space to run down the near sideline untouched into the end zone for the touchdown. Midland Trail is on the board first. They lead 6 to nothing. but Oak Hill on the ensuing drive. Third and long. Cade Maynard over the middle to Tobias Giles. He sidesteps a defender, races downfield into the end zone. The PAT gives Oak Hill the lead 7-6 to six after one. To the second quarter, Griffin Boggs with a carry going to his right, but Robert Long with the tackle for a short gain. The important stop there, but the brief yet intense rain shower would make holding on to the ball difficult. Later in the second, a high snap over the head of Vines, several players with a chance to recover. Oak Hill does, and they would have a great chance to extend the lead. But on that ensuing drive, Maynard from the shotgun. He throws downfield. It's intercepted by Aaron Sisler. However, the Red Devils would recover another fumble. And then with 18 seconds left in the half, Oak Hill kicks a field goal. They take a 10-6 lead into halftime. However, Midland Trail rallies in the second half to win the game of the week. Final score, 35-10. And the Patriots are 2-0.